Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is going to be my 2015 drugstore favorite. At first I was just going to do an all around 2015 beauty favorites, but I figured I would kind of break it down between drugstore and high end. Plus some people may just want to hear about drugstores, some people may want to hear about high end. So I just separated it. I separated it. Yeah. Also, I didn't want the video to be like about 45 minutes long because I'm sure this video is already going to be long. I'm going to try to make this short as possible doubt it. Also, I wanted to make this video strictly drugstore because I know some people kind of get in the question of do I mention like ColourPop because it's so cheap and it's only $5. But for me, I decided I'm going to put all those kind of items you buy online and stuff for high end because I consider that high end because they are not necessarily drugstore. They're not sold in the drugstore. They may have good prices, but you still can't buy them in the drugstore. So this is only drugstore. You can go to CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart, all that good stuff, drugstore. Starting with eye primers, I'm sure a lot of you probably already know which one I'm going to be showing you, but there are two. It is the NYX Eyeshadow... No. The NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. This is obviously not my skin tone, but I truly love this primer. It is a tad bit emollient. It is awesome to prep the eyes. I love it for a brightening effect as well. Since it is a little bit more emollient, you can't just place this on the eyes and just jet out the door. You do want to make sure you set it with like your foundation powder or just like a regular shadow that's your own skin tone. But this is awesome because it really extends the longevity of eyeshadows and just adheres them. And one that I like to use especially to brighten my eyes on the days that I don't want to wear any eyeshadow is the I Love Stage from Essence. Again, this is another skin tone shade. Obviously not mine. And it's awesome because it's super lightweight. It's only $2.99. You can get this at Ulta. It is awesome. And it's super thin. And this is one of those ones where you actually don't have to set because the formula is thin. Place it in, blend it out, and then I'm good to go. But I always say just set it just to be safe. And then plus if you have oily eyelids, then it can cause some creasing. Now for the face, to fill in pores, Maybelline Baby Skin. I loved this stuff in the beginning of the year. I used it a lot during summertime. I think this is a great one. Uh, at first it kind of feels greasy to touch, but it's actually a little bit more silky once you place it on the face. Now if you are oily, but you still want a more luminous look, not greasy look, but luminous. I would go for the Master Prime Blur and Smooth. And I know this isn't like a specifically illuminating primer, but if you are someone with oily skin like myself, then you still like a little luminosity, but you don't want anything that's going to make you greasy. Now this one is a blur and smooth, but it's a white formula that's very hydrating. And I feel like it gives the skin a really nice, hydrated, plump, healthy glow. Usually the more illuminating primers are meant for dry skin girls. So that's why I noticed that this primer that's blur and smooth is like a perfect formula for oily people like I said. Now I just discovered this and I bought this in 2015 so I figured I would just roll it onto this video because I think it should be mentioned and it's that good even though I think this is like for their 2016 launch is the CoverGirl face primer for oily skin. Now I love this stuff it is also a white lotion formula so when I first put it on I figured oh is it going to kind of simulate like the master prime the blur and smooth but it's not it's completely different once it dries it feels really silky but you can feel its mattifying touch I highly recommend this they did come out with two other primers one for combination skin and then one for dry skin which I thought was really really optimal just to shoot them all at once this will not fill in pores though so just keep that in mind it was a little hard to break down for foundations, tint and moisturizers, BB cream, just because there's so many excellent ones, but I picked the ones that truly worked for me best. <laughs> and again, I have combination skin, so I'm oily in the T-zone and dry in some other areas. You already know I'm all about that Maybelline Pure Dream BB Life. I'm obsessed with this product. I also have it in the deeper shade when I'm more of a brown biscuit. It has great coverage. It's light. It's great for every day. I just am obsessed with this product. Also with this BB cream, I find that I'm mixing it in with other foundations as well. Now my favorite one to stay matte, and this is a full coverage foundation, is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This one is in some beige. Obsessed with this stuff. It will keep your face just intact. It's going to last all day, and also it really just Woo, pushes that sebum away so you're not going to be an oily rawr, beast. But what I find with this one is that it can tend to cling on to dry patches if you are a combination because I'm usually dry around my nose, my lips, and randomly around my eyebrows. So I mix it in with this baby skirt and this combination has been life. I find that mixing these two together have been my favorite combination. I've been wearing this almost every single day lately. If I am wearing some sort of liquid on my face, I'm obsessed with it. Try it out if you have these products 
awesome. Another product that I love during the summer in the beginning of this year is the BB Cream Garnier from uh, the, 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 the Garnier BB Cream, and this one is in medium deep for specifically combination to oily skin. The little blue label, you definitely want to make sure that you grab this one if you're interested. It lasts all day. It definitely just subsides the oils. The only thing that I will say on the downside is that the shade selection just sucks. I mean, uh, Garnier doesn't really specifically have a huge makeup line, obviously. That's probably why. I know that they have a light, so they have the medium deep, and I think they have deep, and that is it. Unfortunately, this is great for like hot weather, summer months, even for everyday wear. As you can tell, I've been a fan of like BB creams over foundations. I don't know what it is. I just think that they're so good. And the last one that I do like, Matte and Poreless from Maybelline. This one's really great because it's nice and light and it also keeps your face mattified. It is definitely not a full coverage. This one can be a medium coverage, which is great because if you're someone that you don't really need full coverage, when you use this one, you can go for this baby and this one will give you medium coverage. Basically does the same exact thing as the L'Oreal and it's an awesome product. This is just a MAC pump because it didn't come with a pump. It just comes with a little screw top and I'm not about that life. For me, concealers have been bombed from the drugstore. I don't know what it is, but they've seemed like they don't have this kind of cakey feel that they're not creasing on me. I feel like a lot of high-end ones do. So I was always grabbing my drugstore ones. Maybelline Fit Me. Now I love this because it's super lightweight and it will never crease on me. This concealer is seriously life for my skin. I don't know what it is, but it never creases. The only thing I will say, if you're suffering from dark circles or you're not getting proper sleep, then you definitely will probably not get enough coverage from this because this is more of like a light coverage. This is more for an everyday kind of feel. Unless you use a corrector and then you can just place this one on top, go ahead and do that. And the other one I'm obsessed with is the Maybelline Master Conceal. This has been my everyday concealer because it is heavy duty. It is full coverage. I love looking bright underneath my eyes. My sleep has been better this year. I'm keeping to my resolution. But I still always like to look nice and bright and I never want any discoloration to kind of peep through my eyes. I like this because it is lightweight as well. So I don't mind wearing a full coverage concealer that feels light. I love it so much. I went to CVS to go buy my new one I got another medium one and another fit me in another shade and then I'll, let's see how much did I pay I know the master conceal is a little bit pricey the fit me is $7.79 and the master conceal is $9.29 but honestly after paying so much money in high-end concealers I'd rather just pay that for the drugstore coupon it up that's how you coupon and use my drugstore ones plus it's really accessible and fast and I love that now if you're someone that really likes to fit me but you want a little bit more coverage because I feel like this is like one of my concealers that doesn't give the most coverage if you want something that's a little bit step above I would say use the better skin this one is a really good one especially in hot weather when I went to Thailand I couldn't believe how well it lasted in hot weather uh, it does have a doe applicator this is the incorrect shade for me right now but it is very light and it has like that perfect medium to it. But if you like the Fit Me, you'll probably like the better skin. Now, if we're talking about a setting spray, I'm going to just go with the Maybelline Master Fix. This did just launch for 2016, but I got it in 2015. It is the same exact formula as the L'Oreal one. Someone told me that Maybelline owns L'Oreal or vice versa, whichever one, but they said it's the same exact thing, and I highly recommend this one because it is a good setting spray for the drugstore. I have tried the other ones from NYX, like the Dewy and the Matte, just didn't work for me. I didn't see any difference. Didn't make my makeup last. I thought the sprays felt like I had a film on my face personally. I really think that the Maybelline one is good. It is a little bit pricey. Would I kind of step it up and pay maybe $10 more for the Urban Decay? I would. But if you're in the drugstore, this one still is a great one. Then the eyebrows. Woo! Everybody is about that eyebrow life. Everybody wants their eyebrows to look on fleek and all that stuff where all these words came out and I still can't even, I don't know, I just learned about dab. I'm trying to keep up. Anyways, talking about brows, I'm obsessed with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This has replaced all my high-end pencils. I mean, I still have them, but do I reach for them? I don't. I usually reach, which is so weird, I usually reach for my high-end pencils like my Anastasia Brow Wiz on days when I don't care about my brows, which is crazy. I feel like the Micro Brow is the perfect formula. It's not too waxy. It lasts all day, even through my workouts. Yes. I said my workout. I think the spoolie is just as awesome as the Anastasia because I feel like different spoolies 
honestly are different. People may not think so, but they are different. I think this one is great. The formula is awesome. And I love that there's a bunch of shades. It's not just like a light, medium, deep or anything like that. They have like the taupe, the blonde, the medium, the dark brown, all that good stuff. So it comes in a wide array of shades array of shades but to set my brows I will say that I tend to go for more higher end brow sets but one that does work pretty decently is the NYX one this is the tinted mascara for brows it does come in different shades as well both of these are in brunette it has a spoolie applicator like most of them do I don't think any other brow applicator has a different one it's okay it doesn't I don't know I think it's okay it's not like the best it doesn't really put down my stray hairs. I think uh, Benefits Give Me Brow is good on that one, but that's why you wanna see my high-end video. As far as setting powders, I love a lot of different ones for different reasons. Now, if I wanted to set my face with something that's really not gonna give me a lot of extra coverage, basically just set my face in place. I love the Revlon Nearly Naked. Now, I went through a ton of these. I only have the medium shade. I went through like two medium deeps, like. A while ago but I haven't repurchased them because I have other powders to use but I love this one it's extremely light it's silky it has a great finish it just sets your face no extra coverage the only thing that I think is crappy is the packaging because holding this in your purse is just like an extra cell phone hello are you there mm. so I just think it's a little bulky uh, I guess you could pop it out or anything like that but ain't nobody got time for that where are you gonna store it no one's gonna put it in the Z palette you get my deal but it's an excellent powder I just wish that they would make it into like a little compact like this one that I'm going to show you now this one is the L'Oreal true match mineral now this one is in the shade sun beige I am in sun beige in the foundations and I loved this powder this is actually my second one uh, I loved the way the feel was it does give extra coverage because it is a powder foundation that will do that uh, I actually meant to buy the Maybelline Pro Matte, but I guess I was just grabbing this so quick that I obviously liked it enough to grab it but I wanted to try the Maybelline Pro Matte because I know it's basically around the same exact concept but I love this powder if you want a little bit more extra coverage and it's really compact so that's good now I know a lot of people are always wondering what's the best loose setting powder that is the drugstore dupe of Laura Mercier translucent powder and honestly I get asked that all the time and I have to say I've not found anything that is equivalent to it that is just as good the only thing I can tell you is probably airspun which you can get at Walmart uh, I have not tried it because one one, annihilated or two it is just out of stock but I know a ton of people rave about that one and it's very cheap and affordable I will get it eventually I just don't know when but it's the only thing that I can truly think about that I would set my under eye with which is still like a little iffy is the NYX finishing powder HD in banana this is good if you are a light to medium skin tone if you're deep this is gonna be way too light because even though this is a shade sh a shade the shade in banana it is extremely brightening underneath the eyes if you use too much of this this can look extremely cakey underneath the eyes too and make them look really dry if you've ever wanted to get the NYX loose setting powder don't get that one it is seriously really bad it looks very dry underneath the eyes once I did like a womp on that product everybody was like heck no don't get it it's not good so don't try the loose one that one is not good but this one is probably your best bet uh, maybe the Rimmel Rimmel stay matte in the zero zero one transparent that one is good too but yeah I would just say this one if you're going for a brightening effect Okay, so now getting to highlighters, there were just two that really stood out to me, and the first one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Now, this one is in one of their golden, the golden shade, and I really like this one because I feel like this shade is really stunning. It shows up nicely on the skin, and I feel that it works just as well as a high-end liquid illuminator. It acts no different. You can use this on the tops of your cheeks. You can mix it in with your foundation if you want a little bit of a glow with the different shades. You don't want to mix too much of this one in your foundation. You might look like the yellow brick road. And then I really didn't find a highlighter that like wowed me and made me pee my pants because I do own the L'Oreal quad highlighters but those are a little bit glittery and I know a lot of people don't like them. Uh, they were okay. I thought that they weren't a bad product but there wasn't anything phenomenal. But one that I really like to use and some of you who have been watching me for a while probably see that I will sh probably know that I'm going to show the Milani eyeshadow now this one is in Bella Ivory 
No, not Bella Ivory. I want Bella Sand. Just kidding. I got it. So this is in the shade Bella Sand. This is a wonderful highlight. As you can see, it's just a champagne shade. And a lot of people ended up getting this once I showed it in a drugstore tutorial. It's just a champagne shade. It looks great on the cheeks. I'm telling you, it's going to give you a phenomenal glow. You can always use eyeshadows that you have that can look like a highlight. It can be a highlight. Don't just limit your eyeshadows to just eyes. You can definitely put it on your face. For blushes, not too much stood out to me. I honestly have to say the e.l.f. blush palettes were my go-to. I'm obsessed with these palettes. They come in two different shades. One is in the light shade, which is right here. And honestly, this isn't even that light in shade where it matches a medium, a medium skin tone to even maybe a deep with these two shades right here. And what the good thing is that it also has a dark palette. So this is definitely going to reach medium to deep shades. Uh, anybody can use either palette. It's just if you're fair skin, you definitely want to make sure that you just use a very light hand because you don't want to look... Doo -doo 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 and they are really pigmented, which isn't a bad thing. That's actually a good thing. So you can... Less is more on this. Let's just say that. And plus, they're only six bucks. I know they pop out. They're not magnetic, so I don't know if e.l.f. has like some sort of palette or anything like that, but I just like to keep them like this, and they're excellent pigmented blushes, and they do last really long, and they don't get patchy on me, which usually drugstore blushes get patchy on me, which is why I didn't like any other ones. Milani br blushes are always good. I feel like everybody always mentions them, but I definitely wanted to give some low to the e.l.f. ones. So as far as eyeshadows go, I wasn't really impressed by a lot of palettes, uh, like the Maybelline nudes and all that, and the blushes and all that. I, I just wasn't a fan of them, but uh, didn't impress me. I thought Wet n Wild were actually better. But two types of eyeshadows that truly impressed me were the NYX Prismatic Shadows that launched in 2015. These are extremely silky and creamy, and to me, they're equivalent to Urban Decay eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. They feel like silk. That color was, what color was this? These are my two favorite ones, Bedroom Eyes. Ooh la la. And then the second one is Fireball. Highlight bling. And then here is Fireball. Extremely pigmented. Look at that. That is insane. It's silky. And the other one was the Milani eyeshadows. Now here's like a purple shade. These ones can use wet to dry, which I really like and appreciate. So here's the purple shade. So if you ever wanted to give these a try, wet to dry as well. Uh, you can use them as an eyeliner if you wanted to. So I thought that those two were really great. Mascara is really hard for me this year because I felt like I don't really like to spend the money on a high-end mascara because drugstore works just as well. There were some drugstore ones that were really good. The Maybelline Lash Sensational was actually a really great la uh, mascara for me, but I ended up being allergic to it every single time I used it. Like, my eyes started getting irritated and just itchy, and every time I was like, is it this mascara? Finally narrowed it down, and it was that, but it worked really good on my lashes. So the one that I've been loving is the Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama. Now, I I do love the Falsies line. I stopped using it. I don't know. I'm just always testing out so many different mascaras because they come out with so many, but this one is great. It makes your lashes really full and just makes them look long, especially if you have non-existent lashes like myself. I'm wearing Falsies. But if you haven't tried this, I really recommend it because I feel like everybody's been raving about it. And then as far as eyeliners, I really love this Infallible Smokissime from L'Oreal. And the reason why I love it is I usually don't like these like little dip gimmicky things. and uh, <laughs> But I love the effect that it gives. And it's called Smokissime because it's like smokes your eye out. I'm someone where I don't really like to smoke at my bottom lash line all the time with the brush. I don't know what it is. It's just... I don't know why, but I really like this because it gives you that smoky effect that you want when you do do that. So just depending on how hard you push and how much product you get, you can smoke out that lower lash line really easily, especially because there is a tip right there, so you can just be pretty precise. Just be careful not to put all of that down because then you're going to get a super smoked out eye. And of course, the NYC liquid liner is always a favorite because it is the liquid liner that is extremely cheap, $1.99, very black and dry matte. As far as super creamy pencils, the L'Oreal Carbon Extreme, what? Extreme Intense Carbon Black Liner. Yeah, that's intense. Bronzer, I didn't have a powder that I truly loved this year. All of them were high end. But for a cream contour to kind of build it up, I would say the Fit Me Shine Proof Foundation Stick. This one is from Maybelline as well. I'm showing a lot of Maybelline. And this one's in the shade Coconut. And you can use this as a cream contour. It is a little bit warm, but if you're going to set it with a cooler powder, that could work. Or if you're just going for like a more warm, sun-kissed look, like, oh. 
But I will say another product though that I did like for the bronzer, which I wanted to mention, is what I'm wearing today to warm up my face. And it's from the Maybelline Contour Kit. This is the bronzer I used today. I think this kit is awesome and I definitely wanted to talk about it. I'm wearing the blush and the highlight today. Ignore my hair. And I really like it. I think that it's excellent for a drugstore palette and I've been wearing it. I've seen lots of mixed reviews, but I honestly love it. I've been wearing it the past week and I think it's the bomb. And I would highly recommend it, even though I think this is a 2016 launch. I'm a little bit, I'm cheating, but I bought it in 2015. I used it in 2015, so why not? Finally, for lips, I would have to say that I think all different brands work well from Wet n Wild to Revlon to Maybelline, all of them. I love different lipstick formulas. But the two that popped out were both from NYX is when the Intense Butter Gloss came out. Now, there is the regular Butter Gloss, and I think that one is a great topper. But something that you don't want is truly as a topper and a lot of pigment is the Intense Butter Gloss. One of my favorites was Tres Leches, and I love this shade. It is awesome for every day. Uh, the pigmentation is there. They are a little bit sticky, but you want that so that the longevity lasts. And I still love the butter lipsticks. I think they're really nice and great in pigmentation. And I think it was just a good addition to the collection. But if you've never tried the butter ones, they never make your lips like peel. But like I said, I just wanted to toss those two out, but I honestly loved Wet n Wild one, like a bunch of different brands, so I don't want to bore you with like 50 different lip colors. So that is it for my 2015 drugstore beauty favorites. Don't forget I will be doing my high-end 2015 favorites, so look out for that so you know what that means. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because it is free. 99. Also, I'll link all my previous videos down below. I love you guys so much, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Woo -woo.